So we're here in Target. Can't find the gold sark. We may have to do an alternate unboxing. Give me a sec. All right. Um, we can do the ninja uh, collectible figures and emotes. They come with a uh, bomb. Uh, these are his Twitch emotes. <sighs> Forget the gold sarks. We found the real gold right here. I'm talking milk and honey. You whisper, I love you. What you mean is, I don't want you to leave. <laughs> Kidding me, they don't have it. We have Fortnite Series 1 15 times. I'm gonna stock up on Saga of Blue Eyes while we're here. The Dark World Structure. <laughs> Alright, they didn't have it. Time for target number two. Well, we're at the second target. They don't have it. But they have last year! Bro. They sell this in stores. It's close. <laughs> we found them! We found them! Look! And someone... Someone's already opened one of them! <laughs> oh, good. Oh, never change, Walmart. Oh, this one's open, too. Great. Hey, everybody. Joseph Rothschild here, a.k.a. MBT. And I have just returned from a wonderful adventure to Walmart. This episode's sponsored by Walmart. Walmart... Get the hell out of Walmart. Uh, we went to basically every big box store in the tri-state area looking for one of these bad boys, and thankfully I got my hands on one of them. There were two remaining at the Walmart. We went to three different stores, and um, of the four that were there, this was one of the two unmolested ones. The other two had been completely opened, their contents spilled upon the ground, and Nibiru's strewn everywhere. It was ghastly. Um, but I have returned with the prize, which I will be opening today on my beautiful gold sarcophagus mat, my prize for enrolling in the 200th YCS. Uh, I made day two at this event and then promptly scrubbed out. I can't win an out round to save my life. Um, so, uh, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. I've already opened one of these, uh, and, um, we had almost no production value for the opening, so... Uh, it wasn't worth seeing. Uh, I did open Nibiru and a copy of Called By, but other than that, you didn't miss much. So, the first thing we do is, um, use our monkey mind to open this bad boy. Uh-oh, stinky! Here we go. And you know what? First impressions are that it actually looks quite cool. It looks pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, I'm gonna keep speed duel cards in here, I think, because this is about... Uh, how many I have, and um, they'll they'll fit quite nicely. Uh, so here we go. Oh, and already going better than the previous one. We opened Magician of Black Chaos. Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon is just a pinch more interesting. So let's pull this back. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Each one of these comes with. Pull it up to the camera here, um, and try and get it to focus. Sheesh, I spent five dollars on this camera, you'd think it'd work a little better. Uh, each one of these comes with three mega packs and one uh, series of six promo cards. Uh, I'm really hoping to open Nibiru, I already have one, uh, I'm just two away from being able to uh, make every single Gar Dragon player I ever play against uh, quit Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, so of course the first thing we're going to open is the promo set. Um, these cards are sort of random. Uh, they come from pools of cards, uh, so it's not like we can open two Nibiru. Um, we can open, like, one of three cards, followed by one of three cards with alt art, followed by one of three cards from the, uh, new TCG exclusives. Um, so, let's check it out. Obviously, the first one, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Very pretty card. Uh, I love that they are just milking the corpse of Blue Eyes. Talking about beating a dead horse. Sheesh. After that, we've got Exodia, the legendary pack filler. Uh, yeah, this card is terrible. Um, very specific conditions uh, required to get this uh, card's effect off. Um, I don't know if you can read it. Uh, likely not. Uh, in the future, I'll get a camera that doesn't... Uh, cause you to get a brain hemorrhage, um, but for now you're going to have to deal with that. 
Third is Slifer the Sky Dragon. I was really hoping for this card. Uh, love this art. Uh, Slifer the Sky Dragon, uh, like the playable god card. Uh, I use that term loosely. Obviously, they're all terrible. And Obelisk, I think, is the only one that's seen any sort of competitive play as a cute one of in Frognark. Uh, but the art on this Slifer is so pretty. Oh, wow. It just looks so good. All right. Monster Reborn. Um, there's like a series of... Uh, spell staples that came in this pack. Very happy to get Monster Reborn to go with the Regeki I opened in my earlier one. And the moment of truth. Hey, it's Nibiru! We did it! Alright, one more, baby. Just one more. And then no one will be defeating my sub-terror guru at the locals. Alright, excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to pull. Let's check out the packs. Now, the packs are noticeably less exciting. They have a lot of very interesting cards in them. But unfortunately, the interesting cards are not expensive anymore. Uh, the downside of the Mega Packs is while it's great that now we have access to all of these uh, uh, extremely playable cards, um, they're now worth almost nothing to collect. Such is the duality of the Yu-Gi-Oh! player. Uh, so we're opening with Patchwork Fluffle. Uh, we've got a uh, Thunder Dragon Discharge. A Red Herod Hasty Horse. Uh, F.A. Dead Heat, uh, Mystic H Holder, this sounds like a Steve Brule character, yo it's me, Mystic Holder, ugh, disgusting, uh, Restoration Point Guard, uh, ooh, Afterburners, okay, I'm looking for the Sky Striker stuff, so, uh, always nice to find this, and great that I don't have to open a playset, because the deck only plays one of those anyway, alright, time for the moment of truth! It's Xernatron. Uh, Xernatron, come on. Alright, that's fine. It's a cute card, and, uh, at the very least... I don't know, maybe... Maybe I can build a Trinity deck IRL and he'll be good. Uh, Nightmare Serb and Ultra. Um, I now have Serb and Unicorn in Ultra, so that's, that's good. Uh, King Kustenian. I am not gonna read a Noble Knight card. You can't make me. Don't care who you are, what you pull from the pack. You're not getting me to read it. After that, we've got World Legacies Nightmare, Noble Arms Clarinet, Clarent, Goki Octostretch, Sim Tabir. This is a cutie. Uh, it's frustrating that this card was never really playable because he is a cutie. Look at that. He's a taper. Dragoonity something and Shield Handler. Okay, uh, pretty disappointing first pack, not gonna lie. Um, but maybe the other two will be better. Pack number two. Fandora the Flying Fortress. Oh man. These are common now. It sucks. Heartless Drop Off. Uh, this is the Salvage Drop Off uh, fusion. Uh, Cyber Cyclone. Transfamiliar. Oh, I've never heard of this card. Transfamiliar. Uh, once per turn, you can target one monster. You control that. Uh, move that target to another of your main monster zones. Okay, well, now I see why I haven't ever heard of that card. Vampire Familiar. Retainer, I mean. Link Stangler. Uh, ooh! A Hollow Incantation Bookstone. I love the incantations. I think they are a sweet design space. Glad that Konami's recognizing just how bad rituals are, that this is what's necessary to save them. Uh, and I, I like having them rarity bumped. Ooh, that's gonna be very pretty when I inevitably get around to making some sort of ritual something in paper, uh, because it's something that I continuously toy around with. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Sekka's Light! Hey, Sekka's Light is nice. Uh, it's, it's light, you know? It's Sekka's Light. And at the end of the day, here's what I can say about this. It's Sekka's Light, man. Um... Don't know how I feel about this. Uh, Sekka's Light was an incredibly affordable card already. Uh, having a rarity bumped is nice for people who are trying to pimp out like Thunder Dragon, but I'm not looking to do that. I'm just looking to play Nibiru. Here's what I'm saying. <clears throat> um, combo decks just want to summon eight times per turn. Stun decks just want to set five. I'm just looking to play mid-range, for God's sakes. <laughs> know what I'm saying, fellow boomers? We pulled Trap Trick! Excellent. Trap Trick, a $40 card, now reduced to an ultra rare. Very happy to have a copy. Uh, I had always wanted to invest in Trap Tricks. I play decks that almost exclusively live and die off of Trap Tricks, so good to have. We got uh, Space Insulator, Vanguard, Crystal Conclave. Ooh, the Crystal cards are now in TCG. Fantastic. Uh, Beast Magic Attack. 
Clock Spartoy, Jamming Waves, another Sky Striker card, and Medolce Fresh Sistart. Okay. So that was a much better pack than the previous one, almost exclusively by virtue of opening uh, Trap Trick. Let's see if this final pack gets any better. <clears throat> Alright. Praise be to the Yu-Gi-Oh gods. What have you put in my golden sarcophagus? Multi-roll. Okay, that's good. I only need one anyway. Ugh, God, seeing it at common is so disheartening. Disgusting. Uh, Austin Tino. Um, I... Why did they print this card? I, I guess, like, this is just the design space Konami's occupying now. Like, if, if you're a bad archetype with a fusion, uh, just go ahead and have a Shadal fusion. Everyone gets a Shadal fusion. Future fusion is completely power crept at this point. Ridiculous. Uh, we got Cybers... Uh, I'm not reading this card. Uh, Trickstar Delfendium. Ooh, this number one cutie, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not weird. I'm not weird, all right? It's perfectly normal to find cardboard cute. Trickstar Bouquet, Dino Wrestler, Kappa 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 Kappa, uh, ba, ba, ba. you don't care about comments. I understand. Here we go. World Legacy, Big Sword. I, I remember this being played in something. Let me read this real quick. Oh, yeah, it's like honest, sort of. Yeah, this card's bad. Uh, I, I can't sugarcoat it anymore. And the final moment of truth. Da, 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 da. Oh! No! It's a Noble Knight Trap. Oh, God. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, it looks very nice, but I'm pretty sure we already had until Noble Arms are needed once again. Uh, great name for a card, by the way. Fantastic naming convention here. Wow, it looks cool when you do this, but uh, doesn't look cool when you play it. Uh, this, I, I think, is what makes Noble Knights playable. I truthfully have never messed around with the deck at all. Uh, Thunder Dragon Duo, um, not super hyped to see this card, you know, like, it's an Ultra, uh, I think Thunder probably plays a copy of it, because it's got 8 stars, and, uh, really easily overlays in Hope Harbinger. We got Staring Contest, another Crystal Beast card, this is one of the Pendulums, White Stingray, uh, Trinity Format All-Star, and, uh, Giant Ballpark Target of Choice Goki Pole, uh, Monster Reborn Reborn, and a couple of cards that I lost to a whole bunch of times in Duel Links. Um, well, that's that. Uh, I'm not super disappointed 